Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Awesome Sauce EDU podcast, where I'm shining a spotlight on awesome things in the classroom. Now, it's been a while since I've recorded an episode. Um, over the past year and a half, I've been really working on mental health, uh, how I can best support myself, support my family um, in all of our mental health journeys. And so that's kind of why I took a pause. But I feel like I've finally, I'm at a place where I can get back into it and uh, start talking about some things that you can do in your own classroom. Uh, I've actually started a series of presentations uh, with the topic of it's okay to not be okay and how you can help support students with their mental health in the classroom, support your own mental health. Um, so if you're looking for video content, I'm definitely gonna come back with some more uh, video tips and tricks, but right now it's all about mental health for me. Uh, before we begin though, I do wanna give a quick shout out to all of my friends at ISTE right now. Uh, I'm a little jealous that I didn't get to go to ISTE this year, um, but I'm hoping that next year uh, I'll be able to go to ISTE Live again. Uh, I hope you are all having an amazing time. I hope you're learning a lot, um, and I can't wait to see what all you post online uh, through social media channels, and um, I can live vicariously through all of you. Now, this week's topic is all about choosing happy. About uh, a couple of days ago, I actually went and got my tattoo touched up. Um, if you don't know, I've got a tattoo on my forearm. If you're looking at the YouTube channel, um, you can see it. Otherwise, I'll post a picture on Twitter. Uh, but I got a tattoo on my forearm that just says, choose happy. Now, I wish that happiness was something you could just choose. Like, you can flip a switch and, you know what, today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be happy today. But as someone who suffers from anxiety and depression, I can tell you it's not that simple. You can't just all of a sudden decide, you know what, I'm going to be happy today. You can try. Believe me, I, I try all the time. But sometimes life gets in the way of that. Sometimes days just suck. Sometimes you have a bad lesson. Sometimes uh, you get bad news. Sometimes um, nothing happens. You just wake up and you're just in this down place. But what my tattoo reminds me of, and the reason why I got it, is... And before I begin that, I just want to give credit. Uh, my wife actually got the Choose Happy tattoo first. Uh, hers is really cool. It's got uh, Choose Happy and then it's got some watercolors uh, behind it. Mine is Choose Happy and then it's got a sun, sun rays. Um, but we both kind of have a similar philosophy. Choosing happy means you are going to choose to set your life up to give you the best opportunity to be happy. You're going to make choices when you decide things. You're going to try to make choices that are going to give you and your family the best opportunity for happiness. And some days are going to be harder than others. But that means things like cutting out those people on social media that or even cutting out social media altogether, if that's what you need to do to bring you happiness. That means realizing there are some people in your life who are going to be negative influences. They are going to bring you down. Do you have those people in your life who you go and every time you hang out with them, you feel worse than you did when you started hanging out with them because they're complaining about all the things wrong in their life or they're just telling you about all the ways that you need to change yourself? Cut those people out. Cut out the things that are taking up all of your time and get in the way of your happiness. Whether it's I know as teachers, we always want to do all the things. We want to help everyone. We want to join every committee. We want to uh, organize every group. We want to do all the things. And sometimes we do so much that it just drains all of our energy, all of our chance of having a happy life because we are pouring everything we've got into everyone else. And sometimes you got to take a step back and realize, you know what? I'm going to have a bigger impact if I cut out these three committees or if I cut out these two things and really focus in on those things that are going to bring me the most joy and have the biggest impact on others. So that's it for me. That's, that's what it means to choose happy. Choosing happy just means what can I do to give myself the best opportunity at happiness? And it's a, it's a journey. Some days are better than others. Sometimes I have the best intentions, but it just doesn't work out. Don't beat yourself up over it. Every day, just think, you know what? What am I going to do today 
that is going to bring me the most joy and help bring joy to others. Because that's the second part. Okay. If bringing happiness for you is going to make everybody else miserable, you might want to rethink what's bringing you happiness. But I hope that you can find some things that bring you joy, bring you happiness, those things that ground you, those things that you enjoy doing every day, whether it's hanging out with your pets. Uh, we just got a dog uh, about a year ago and some days she brings me happiness. Some days, <laughs> not so much, but uh, you know, find that thing that brings, brings you joy. And on those days when it feels like nothing's going right, you can't find that happiness. Just know that there are people out there that support you. I think you're awesome. Wherever you're at right now, I think you're an awesome person. I think you've got so much potential. I hope that you can go out there and be happy. Find your joy. Find those things that you can do to um, bring joy in your life. So uh, if for the next couple of episodes, I'm going to really highlight some of the things that I do in my classroom towards mental health. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe to this podcast. Um, I'm going to be highlighting some of those things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Teach Like a Ninja. I'm going to be trying to uh, put content in multiple places instead of just having the podcast. I'm going to do a video version of it. Uh, I'm going to try to break it up into TikTok. I'm still exploring the world of TikTok. So you can find me on TikTok at Teach Like a Ninja. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Teach Like a Ninja, Instagram, all over the place. Uh, my blog is MrStockRocks.com. Um, I'm going to try to get a transcript version of this to, to put it on all the, the social media platforms. Um, we'll see how that goes. But that is it. I hope you have a great week. Uh, Till next time, uh, book it forward and be awesome. Bye, everyone.